So I'm not going to show you how I do my uh, mach uh, my hand quilting. Uh, my piece is on the hoop. You can see that it's not like a very tight. I can still, if I when I put my hand underneath, I can slightly grab my finger, but not too much. You you don't want it to be too loose. Um, my thread and my thread is uh, on the needle already and I'm going to show you the example with this slip top uh, thimble and uh, you absolutely need the slip top because when you'll be quilting uh, it's going to be the edge of the thimble that is holding your um, needle uh, so basically just to start off I am going to put the needle through go into my batting and move around in the batting and go back up onto the line where I want to start my hand quilting. And then you see I have my knot here and I'm just going to do a, a little pull so that it goes inside. So now it's in my piece. And here I can simply um, go and cut the excess thread, not going too close because you don't want to damage your quilt top, but you can just go here and then grab that and just pull it inside. Okay, so that's the first step. Now, my system to do the hand quilting, it's the, uh, I guess you could call it the rocking of the needle, because uh, I want to be able to put in the needle, uh, do like three or four stitches and then pull it out so that I have an even line when I'm hand quilting. So I'm always going to move my move my quilt top so that I'm facing the line. I want to quilt towards me. I'm holding my needle with my thumb and this finger so uh, that I can position the needle where it needs to be. And then I put my finger from my left hand underneath so that I can feel that the needle has gone through and then I transfer to the thimble. So only the thimble holds the needle on top and my finger underneath is also holding the needle so that it doesn't go down. And I'm holding it just against the my fabric down and then bring it back up and your thumb here is going to be holding it. So you want to make sure that you have the length that you want. The length between the needle popping back up needs to be equal to the length you're going to be doing with the needle here. Once you're satisfied with the space in between, you are going to be holding the bottom of your needle with your thumb. Pull it right away back up with your thimble to go back down. So it's only again, the needle uh, is held by your finger underneath and your thimble, and you are going to be bringing it back up to the desired location. So again, it's moving with your thumb. When you're doing that, the thumb is really holding uh, the in place stopping your needle from going any further further saying you need to go back up so if you can do this uh, at first you're gonna find it very difficult so if you just do it twice that's fine uh, the idea is to do several at the same time so that your direction is your if we're quilting is always uh, is more straight um, so that's the idea behind the hand, hand quilting. I call it the rocking. Now when it's time to pull the needle back out, you'll notice that it might be just a little bit difficult to grab your needle. So that's when these come really handy because you can just use it, you grab the needle and it helps you pull it through. And so your quilting is uh, easier on the fingers. Now notice here, 
the um, it, when you, I am doing my my quilting right now, obviously it's difficult to be doing the quilting with the filming. But you, it, right now, if you want to please concentrate on getting an even length from top and bottom and making sure that you do go through. So what you see on the top, you should also see the same design in, on the bottom. So concentrate on getting this universe uniformity along all of your piece uh, before trying to get a uh, closer uh, quilting. Uh, because what's important at first is to just understand the rocking and, and making steady everywhere to make sure that your quilt will last a very long time. Now I'm going to show you with the ergon er ergonomical um, thimbles. So you basically need to adjust it. Mine's just a little bit tight. So I'm going to be opening opening the, the rings to make sure that my finger fits nicely and then tighten it up. You do need to feel tight in a thimble because as you begin quilting, your finger will get smaller. So you do need, if you don't have a tight thimble, it's going to fall, up, fall off when you're hand quilting. So the movement is just a little bit different. You're still holding it, uh, holding the needle at first with uh, these two fingers uh, to be able to position uh, your needle correctly in the right location and then instead of holding the thimble with uh, holding your needle uh, upward you can actually use it on the side so you don't need to bring your hand up as much and it's easier for you to be able to uh, put your thumb at the front of your quilting because that's the the key to succeeding is to be able to position that thumb right here to bring it back, bring the needle back up quickly. So if your thumb, if your finger here doesn't need to be positioned vertically as you would have with the slip stop, now it can be positioned on the side. So it's easier to go back up, go back down and position your thumb right away to bring it up. The needle is back up. You position, you look at the space that you need to make sure that it matches with the rest. Now I pulled a little bit too much, so I use my thumb to push it back. And then I can go back upward and downward. And you continue. And again, this little helper is really a good to have. And that's how you do your hand quilting.